flavor. Do you know these Filipino streets be smelling crazy? Like, Ooh, mommy, this is good. <laughs> We've got a selection of Filipino street foods for you to try today. Oh, oh my, my gosh, we got to eat yes. it all. Yes. yes. Try Filipino street food. Try yes. yes. We Have want you ever to had try Filipino it. street food? Oh no. my god, like I've never, never. Had Jollibee's. <laughs> like yo, my this palate is... is about to. Also, this is our second episode doing Filipino street food. So if you don't see some of your favorites, like Tadon or Balut, be sure to check out that video and then come back here and watch this one. And let her know in the comments if we missed any, we can have a third one! Yes! Also, I am going to try my best with these pronunciations. I apologize in advance. Hey. Do better than me. She's trying her best. You know, I, I can't pronounce my name. <laughs> I can't pronounce my name! First of all, pork blood. Pork blood? Oh. It's pork blood skewers? Pork what? Pork blood. Pork blood? Well, chicken feet. Oh, oh yeah, I love chicken feet. Pork ears. Pork ears, ears. okay. Cool. Oh, ears? ears? Oh, they're all like skewers. Oh, just a whole skewer. Wow. Oh. Yo, get the, what? Yes! Oh, that's blood. That's definitely pork blood. For our first round, we've got a platter of inahau, or Filipino-style barbecued skewers. Wow. And a variety of sauces to go with it. I personally haven't tried any of these. Up first, Betamax, which are grilled blood cubes cut into rectangles representing the shape of Betamax tapes. Inahau. I was just gonna say, <laughs> is that what that comes from? Yep. Betamax. Really? This looks like chocolate. I don't think it's chocolate. What? No, it's pork blood. It's pork. This is pork blood. This is a little rough for me. This is so interesting. It smells like it smells like pork. Kind of like pate or like livery kind of. It tastes like earthy. It tastes like dirt. Yeah. Like iron. No, you can taste like the pork the blood. blood for sure. Yeah. Oh, and you can kind of taste the iron. Texture is like of a I don't know, like chalky chocolate cake. But then the taste is not bad. It's not the it's not a consistency I'm really used to. I don't yeah, I don't really like the consistency. But I can get there. It's not bad. Next up we're gonna try Inaha fish balls that go great with the spicy vinegar dipping sauce. The ball nature of it does not throw me off at all. Mm -mm. Great taste. Okay. Mm. I think yeah, bro. fish balls, come on, right, say less. The, I'm going one for the vinegar and then one for the barbecue. Oh, that's no, not bad. That's great. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that was good. Very good. Oh, yeah. You maybe have finally fed me enough fish. <laughs> Are you not a fish person? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, no, no, the bitch. Oh, there. the ah, vision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before you dig in, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Cook Unity. Ludo Lefebvre, Fabio Viviani, Esther Choi. There are meal services and then there is Cook Unity. Where else are you gonna get to eat some meals from some of the best chefs in the world every single week? I honestly think that the only thing wrong with them is that there are too many choices. Seriously, looking at all the different and more importantly diverse offerings makes me so excited about what I'm eating this week, what I'm looking forward to eating next week, and honestly that what's new section is the first thing I check out every time I log on. And I love knowing that they make these meals fresh in regional micro kitchens packaged in compostable, recyclable, or reusable packaging, and they're delivered fully cooked, so all you have to do is heat it up and enjoy. This week, I got some Japanese beef curry from one of my favorite chefs in LA, Brandon Kida, some panang, some dan dan noodles from Mok Bar by Esther Choi that I have always wanted to try. Oh, and some street style Cuban pork with garlicky moho. If you've ever watched this show and wanted to travel the world with us in our street food episodes, then frankly, Cook Unity is your ticket. And the best part is that their weekly subscription services offer over seven different dietary options, including vegan, paleo, and gluten-free. Plus, they're super flexible. You can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. So go to cookunity.com slash PVF, or click on the link in the description below and use our code PVF50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals to try them out for yourself. Seriously, you won't regret it. Oh, cheers. Cheers. A little drippy cheers. All right, wow, you ate two I balls. I mean, how about that? Jamie's two balls deep. <laughs> oh my God. It's like sweet, mm. like bouncy and spongy and at the same time and delicious. All right, up next we have Adidas. Oh, that's gonna right, be the, the chicken feet. feet. Adidas, named for the popular sports brand because of the foot's resemblance to the three stripes of the Adidas logo. <laughs> okay. Oh, I okay. See it. All right, bro. Damn, these chickens be like walking like this, dude? Mm. Oops, I took the whole nail. Though that's, see, that's what frightens me. Mm, it's quite tough. Damn, dude, I have no idea what, what to expect here. Here we go. Three, here two, we go. one. 
Oh, shit. There must be a lot of collagen in this. Definitely. What the crap? What is going on? It feels amphibious. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! A lot of cartilage. Mm -hmm. mm. Very chewy. Okay, up next we have Esau or pig intestines. It's gotta be this. Esau will either be pig or chicken intestines. Ooh, what are these? Intestines. These look like little lollipops. I don't know. You know how I feel about guts. No guts, no glory. Yeah, well, I have my own guts. I don't need to borrow <laughs> some. Mmm, <laughs> interesting texture. Mm. Smell it, bro. The smell was a little turning off. Hard for me to eat organs because, like, this is what is cleaning your whole system, and so mm -hmm. I feel like we shouldn't be eating the pool filter. It smells a little funky. It's a little dirty. And these are your intestines. This is what the poop goes through. Inner parts of the intestine are a little more... Soft. Not what I expected. It's kind of like crunchy on the outside. I kind of like the the color that goes on though. The red, the orange, the yellow. I'm just a little nervous. It tastes very cleanserish. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I don't. Right? Cheers. Cheers. Uh-uh. Oh, I didn't like that. Why? It's a sphincter, essentially, is what we're eating. <coughs> I did not care for that one. All Ooh. right, we've got one more. Grilled pig's ears or Walkman. Oh, because so you soft. listen to Walkman? Oh, wow. That was clever. Hello. Oh, Look no, wait, how soft ears. they are. Sauce? Oh, that's got some chew. A little chewy. Cheers. Wow, this is a thick ear. This pig had really good hearing. Now, all this is like very texturally chewy. so mm -hmm. different. Yeah, the flavor's really good. There's a little meat on there. It's all very like soft, bouncy meats. Mm -hmm. Chewy bacon. Yeah. Mm. Right? Well, these were all from Dollar Hits uh, here in Los Angeles, a very popular Filipino street food restaurant. Would you go there? Yeah. I would, yeah. I'm gonna go back for these fish balls. Me too. And yeah. this pig ear. Go off. Dude, go off Dollar Hits. Wow. This be hitting. What is oh, this? Oh, some, some type of braised meat. Ooh. Is that soup? Wow. That looks, that looks good. Yummy. Oh, some kind of soup. Oh, I'm about to eat all of this. That's going down. Beef Paris is a Filipino beef stew that's a popular comfort food and often served in small restaurants or food stalls. It's typically served with garlic fried rice in a clear soup. The word Paris means to pair, and it said this dish got its name because it's usually paired with rice. Oh, that smells sweet. Ooh, Everything, Lord. Everything's going down, bro. Oh my God, that's really good. It's a little sweet. It's tangy. Now see, I would just pour this all in here. Go for it. Yeah. Oh. This dish is believed to have originated in the Chinatown district of Manila, mm. where it was developed by Chinese immigrants who adapted their traditional beef noodle soup recipe to suit local tastes. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes sense. The beef parts um, taste pretty similar. I would eat this every mm. night. Mm. Savory. Umami flavor, where you're just like, mmm, I want another bite. Mm -hmm. like, Ooh, mommy, this is good. <laughs> this juice, mm. so light. Sweet-ish, but like salty. It mm. tastes like a comfort food. The, the star anise is definitely like coming through. You get some of that warming. But with the sweetness of like the brown sugar and everything, I don't know, it's just really balanced. I want this one to oh, well, never end. There's, there's no punishment, <laughs> just to be clear. Okay. Come on, please, come on. Mas masarap yung pancit namin pag... Ooh. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, noodles. Yes, dude, look at that flame, bro. That walk style right there. Ooh. I love the noodles. Wow. Ooh, it looks like chili noodles. Oh my god, I want that. Pancit lo mi is a popular noodle dish with thick egg-based noodles, meat, vegetables, and a savory broth. It's a very popular on cold and rainy days and served at many street food stalls. See, I love noodles. I could eat that on a cold day, and a hot day, and a rainy day. Yeah? <laughs> I like The noodles are so soft. You just like huh? break down so easily. Mm. These are good. These are really good noodles. Very gelatinous. It's like super, yeah. really thick like It's a broth. really thick soup. Oh yeah, what are they? Are these scallops? I would eat this. Yeah, I would eat this. Pancit lomi. Pancit lomi. Pancit lomi. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could be just butchering it, but <laughs> right, 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 right. Say it. Sorry. <laughs> well flavored. Like all of these dishes so far, they got good Very flavor. Flavored. Pancit lomi. Yeah. This noodle soup dish. Mm -hmm. Do you know these Filipino streets be smelling crazy? All the garlic they be. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I think it's gonna be something sweet. Ooh. Oh, a drink. 
what is this? Like that one looks like fruits, maybe? Oh, shaved ice? Can't oh. ever go wrong with shaved ice. That looks so good. Oh, it's like a snow cone. Oh, yeah, I don't even, I'm, I'm gonna stop It's a snow my cone drink? It's a snow cone like boba. It's yeah. like shaved ice meets a Slurpee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. What the what? Hold it up, sit up straight. Jamie. I'm sorry. Jamie? Oh, they're so good. <laughs> Sago at Gulaman is a refreshing Filipino drink made with sago or tapioca pearls and gulaman or gelatin cubes mixed with a sweet and fragrant syrup made from brown sugar and pandan leaves. Pandan. Pandan. That's what I was tasting. I mean, it looks like it. Mm. <laughs> Hold up, that sounds a little sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't like sweet stuff. This is definitely sweeter. I got the little gelatin in there. It's gulping, man. Fire. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. It's so it's good. So it's got like the flowery taste. <laughs> oh my God. I got a ball in my throat. Wow, that's really nice. Mm. Oh, it's like a, those are boba? <laughs> <laughs> is just is gonna it? be racing through my blood after this, isn't it? It's is so good. Mm -hmm. Dude, this looks cool too. It looks like a, I'm, I'm sipping a lava lamp. Bro. Mm -hmm. Given that neither of you have anything left. Yep. Ready for the next one? <gasps> ube? Ube! Ooh. Oh, it's Ube, ooh. yo. I've oh, never had come Ube. Come on. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Just like purple ooh. sweet potato, right? Babe. How is purple a color? I mean, I understand it's red and blue. Thick. Oh, that corn oh, syrup yeah. is what's thickening it up. Is it like a pudding? Fascinating color. Look at that. That's not looking thick. See that bounce on it? Are those nuts? Oh, I will always love nuts, bro. Whoa. Yeah, it's like a combination of pudding Thank and you. jello. Oh, cute. Is that coconut? Ube Maja Blanca is a dessert made with coconut milk, cornstarch, sugar, and ube, and has a gelatin like pudding texture. Mmm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. I thought we were gonna fist, but. <laughs> You're good, bro. No, we're good. Wait, this looks all, so cool. It's beautiful. Yes. That is not what I expected. New one. <laughs> <laughs> What's this consistency? <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's kind of got like a flan kind of consistency to yeah. it on the bottom. The white part is like the flan, right? So how much of this do you have back there? Mmm, uh <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Slap on your tongue. Oh, that's bomb. Yeah. It's almost like not cheesecake. The consistency is what's throwing you. This dish is often served at special occasions like fiestas or holidays. If I were at a birthday party and like, we got Uma oh, Maja I'd be Blanca, like, I'd be like, give me some! Yeah, bring like, that oh, on out. It's so firm. firm. Yeah, like a but firm. squishy. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, how, how do they do that? That is fantastic, holy cannoli. That's really good. That is what an ube looks like. Mm. Okay, yeah. Well, so it's not food coloring, it's just really bright purple. Ube, ube, shube. That's pig Latin. Ooh, oh, or, I wait, love what? you, Nicole. I don't think that was Don't take it, don't take it. Well, guess what? We've got one more. There is more. a punishment, no? We just get to try more food? I still don't believe. Oh, it's like, oh, different Ooh. colors. What is that? Is that like a blue green? Mm -hmm. Oh. That looks like jello. Ooh, oh, looks is this? My, that doesn't look like anything I can identify. What is that? Board? I've never tried actual Halo Halo. I've always wanted to. I got, we got all is colors it fruit? right now. It's called Halo Halo. Halo Halo. Oh my god, look at the deep purple again. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. I've oh. always wanted to try it. And condensed milk over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's like a dessert. Halo Halo means like mix it, mix it or something. I don't remember. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Ah. What? Oh. Halo halo means mix mix, and you should absolutely do that before trying this sweet and cold dessert made with layers of shaved ice, evaporated milk, sweet beans, fruits, jellies, and ice cream. Mm. Oh, you really just like <laughs> I'm pounding it, bro. Mix mix mix. Mm. Wow, it's becoming such a deep purple. I love purple. It's the color you can't believe exists. I don't see it. It's so unbelievable. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Going through a journey right here. Food beans, eggs my over guy. here. Get a little bit of everything. What the f is that? <laughs> oh my god. Mm. 
My mind is blown. It's all fruits. You're good. Ew! <laughs> Ew! What was that? Don't ever do that again, Jay. Did you know what it was? I think it's fruit. <laughs> Thicker than this. other parts. What is this? That's what I'm talking about. Wow. That is gooey. I thought it was hair. Like each bite tastes different. So different. The texture of each mm. jelly thing is completely different. Dude, this is delicious. Mm. What is on my fork? That's a spoon. Oh. Like one kind of tasted like jello, and then that one was like a almost like a like a sour patch kid. Kind of like it's gonna taste good. It's fire. <laughs> it's party in here. That's for sure. That, yeah, very good way to describe it. It's just like a candy milkshake. Yeah, and bite it, bite it. Mm, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> My eyes are broken. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Think, mm, yummy, yummy. Yum, yum, yummy. <laughs> There's beans in here too, which actually tastes really good. Oh, that's what, okay, so that's what it was. That was a bean that I was tasting. I was like, that did not taste like a gummy. Some people believe that all the colorful layers in Halo Halo represent the diversity of the Philippines. Mm. Mm. I'm so happy right now. Oh, the, the jelly cubes. Those are different too. Well, that does it for today. Mm -hmm. Any final mm. thoughts? This is great. <laughs> I feel like that's like a holo holo. Holo holo. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> I always look like she's in trouble. <laughs> she's like, she's busted by the principal or something. I completely like, forgot we were filming. I was just so. She's like, you want to do outro? She's like, no, I'm good. If you guys liked all of these foods and you will love today's episode sponsor, Cook Unity, check them out in the link below for 55% off your first box. All right. Hello, hello. I've never had it. Ooh, Makes lots sense. of all the cubes in there. Oh. Mm. All right. Hey, guys. I don't know what I've been missing out on. Mm-hmm.